Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna look at the new LTX two video to video detailer in Comfy UI. So this tool takes your input video and enhances it with sharper details, better textures, and lighting, perfect for polishing footage without major changes. So as you can see, this is the LTX2 setup. So let me just scroll down. So as you can see right over here, video to video detailer, they have given an official workflow for this. So we'll be checking out this one. So here it is, here's the code. You can download it from here, or I'll give the link in the description down below. So here is the comfy UI, and here is the node. So if you don't have the model weights or anything like that, you can just download it. And if you have low VRAM, you could go to Kijai's LTX workflow here. Sorry, Hugging Face website. He has posted GGUF versions. So if you have low VRAM, download the Q4 accordingly and everything. So the GGUF version will help with the VRAM because the LTX2 is a very big 19 billion parameters file. So over here, you can see where you have to put the text encoder and everything else. So I'll just edit this one. You can use the Comfy UI Gemma 3 version. Let me show you where that is. I'll give the link in the description down below as well. Hi guys. So I've made a Discord as you can see. So you can just go and follow this. That would be much appreciated. And if you wanna buy the membership, you will receive separate VIP levels as well over here. Just go to my Warp store and buy the membership. So download this file over here. Or if you can find the GGUF version or anything else, FP8 version, just download that one for better VRAM usage. So now let's go to the workflow. So here you can see we have loaded a video. Let me just show you guys. So this is the video. As you can see, this is black and white and a little blurry. I wanna enhance it with LTX2 video to video detailer. So using the LTX 219B version, I see LoRa detailer. I'll give the link down below for this LoRa as well. So, or you could just click over here and just the downloading will happen automatically. So you have to put this in the LoRa folder. As you guys know where to put it, all the charts have been given. So now let me show you guys the workflow. So the workflow is divided into three steps, loading the video, loading the model, and sampling the refinement. So in step one, so we load the video file using the load video node, then get video components, break it down, extracting frames as images, the audio track, and the frame rate to keep everything synced. So in step two, the model loading checkpoint loader simple grabs the LTX model and the VAE for encoding and decoding. LoRa loader adds detailer LoRa at full strength. This is what specializes it in subtle refinement. So the LTXV Gemma clip model loader pulls the Gemma 3 text encoder for conditioning, even if the prompt is empty like here, because we just have to enhance it. Clip text encode handles the empty positive prompt. You don't have to write anything. So the image scale resizes frames to max 1920 pixels for efficiency. VAE encode tile turns frames into latents with tiling to handle big videos. We add subtle noise with random noise. Pick the Euler sampler. CFG is set to one. So the LTX V looping sampler is specifically built for video with long and high resolution sequences in LTX2. So it processes the video in overlapping chunks. This means it denoises a section of frames, then loops forward while blending the overlapping parts with the previous results. This creates seamless continuity across the entire video. And as you can see, this is the video that we got. And it looks much better and clearer with the face. More HD, as you can see. High definition. It's not blurry at all now. On the right hand side is the normal video and on the left is the detailed video to video result. Now let's try another example for this. So DFANS is the decentralized creators platform with AI powered insights. DFANS is 100% AI friendly and will never ban your account for using AI. This is a big deal. On most platforms, one man can freeze your assets, block your income and disconnect you from customers. That will never happen on DFANS. 
if you have been banned anywhere else, DFANS literally welcomes creator who can work on other platforms. They never ban accounts, ever. But the real game changer is the new AI chatbot. With DFANS, .AI chatbot is like having a real chatter working for you 24-7. You're focused on creating content and bringing traffic from other platforms. And the moment someone lands on your DFANS, AI takes over chatting and everything. So here's a real recording from DFANS of how one creator earned $3,000 overnight just because AI ended up chatting with a whale. And that actually happened. If you're a creator who wants safety, automation, and AI tool that actually helps you earn, DFANS is worth checking out. So I'll give the link in the description to check out DF. Let's take this video of the lady sitting in a bikini on the beach, okay? So this is the normal video that we're gonna put in. And we're using everything same, the same scheduler, the LTX2. The only difference is the guidance settings in the previous video. In the previous example is also 0.75. The stock that the LTX gave was one. I think that was a lot. So I've reduced it. If you want, you can use one. I'll show that ahead. So this is the video that we got. It's much more detailed. Even the chair looks. Let me just show you side by side for this. And so as you can see, the right one is so much blurrier and on the left is so much enhanced. Even the table or the thing she's sitting on looks so much clearer. The brown is much more detailed as well. Yes. Now let's try a few more examples to see if it can perform very well. Now let's try one with the default settings that the LTX guys gave us. So here it is. This is. It looks like a little similar, but is more. Let me just show you side by side. So this is 0.75 on the right on the media player, and on the left is the one set to one. Okay. You cannot see much difference in the video, but let me just show you guys again. This is what we get. Let me show you guys. Let me zoom in and see. As you can see, it's a bit weird. Okay, so one is too much. You can use 0.95 or 0.85 or even 0.7. You just check it out. The guiding strength is 0.8 and the image strength is 0.8. Okay, so I'll just check out this result too. Okay, so I just checked out, it looks pretty similar. So I'm not gonna show that again. So now let's try another example. So this is the video and over here is, so as you can see, it's much more detailed now. A few more examples over here. So here is another video. So in this one, it's a bit detailed, but it turned the girl's face a little bit plasticky. Not that much, but it has enhanced the golden suit everything else, the rock behind it, but made the face a little bit plasticky. If we reduce the strength, it might help a little better. So adjust accordingly to the video. So we'll take this video of this girl. This is the video. Okay, now let's turn this into a bit detailed. So again, on the left-hand side. So let me show you guys, everything else is the same. I've switched back to Euler because there was not much of a difference, but still, let's try this. I'm using 0 0.8, 0 0.8 strength, and here it is. On the left, you can see the picture is more detailed and a bit clearer in HD. Let me just show you in full screen. Yeah. So this was the video, LTX Video 2 Video Detailer. So if you guys like this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.